Hello, fellow fish nerds, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. I know this looks like it should be a Shrimp Saturday video, but I'm going to show you a pest that could have been avoided with more regular water changes, and how to find the parts and how to build a trap to catch those harmful pests. On Sunday, I was testing out the underwater filming capabilities of my GoPro knockoff camera, link in the description down below, when I realized... <laughs> what are those? <laughs> those are planaria. Notice the munching on the food in the bottom part of the screen. Now let's see a closer look that's better in focus. A planaria is a triangular headed flatworm. These are detritus worms. Detritus worms are round segmented worms. Is that above the top screen? Is that a planaria? No, wait, it's a snail. Which one of these is a planaria? Point to the screen. Here comes the snail. Do 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 do. If you get that to planaria, good job, you're correct. Now, join me as I show you how to find the parts and how to make a planaria trap. Mr. Science Geek here. We're in the natural habitat of the wild, rare, and elusive planaria. Is that one behind me? Or there's a clown? I think there's a clown. Now, join me as I look for the material to build a trap to catch the planaria. Stay tuned. First thing we find is planaria sign. Look at those groove marks in this fallen tree. There's an ant that's it's a pretty good indicator that there's planaria in these woods. All right. Oh, we're trapped. The planaria trapped us. What are we going to do? There's a mound. It's a mound where the planaria bury their dead. So, be very careful. This is a very sacred site for the planaria. Oh, I think I see a tool, a very important tool to build a trap. It's right there in the distance. Let's hurry up. Oh, oh crazy. Crazy. All right. The moss. All right. Found it. Right here in this tree. Gotta peel away the bark first. Oh, take the bark off. What do we have? We have the casings for, for a planaria trap. Oh, sweet. That'll be definitely useful. Look on the next material important necessary to trap the planaria. I think I see one. Right there. See that bright orange spot? That's where we're going. Gotta be very careful. Wait. Alright. Very important tool here. You see the planaria, we're doing a sacrifice of this tree here, a living sacrifice of this tree. You see the, the grooves in their own language of what they're trying to tell us. Try and stay away. Turn back, if I were you, you're doomed. That's what they're saying. But, sticking out of it, they left their most feared tool that there is. Let's see if it's the sword and the stone moment. Let's see if I'm worthy. Sweet. It's a planaria trap tool. Let's put it in our container. We need to attract them. We need to lure them somehow. Ah, there it is. Found it. I wanted to stick. Look it down low. Super important. There we go. This is a lot easier. But you gotta make sure it's like Indiana Jones. You take it off of there and you replace it at the same time with something similar. I don't know if I can do this with one hand of the camera. Alright, here we go. I think we're safe. Let me get the, let me get the lure, let me get the, see that was a trap that the planaria set for us. 
to keep us from catching them. It's uh, it's the, uh, the 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 manna that they use to feast on at their Thanksgiving feasts and rituals. Right. Ah, tennis ball. A dog could probably enjoy that for playing fetch. Well, we'll just take that. That would be pretty helpful. All right, back to the search. Oh, you gotta start looking higher. Scan your surroundings. Be aware of your surroundings. You know, we did find one item there, one item over there, and one item way back there. Put those three together, Illuminati confirmed. But back to the search. I better watch out when I say that. This planaria are gonna come get me now. Oh, there's the last bit that I need. Uh, gotta climb this tree here, or not, it's right at eye level actually, but gotta get around a bunch of, bunch of branches. Finally got it. What is that? That was a leaf. All right, now. I did see one last bit of Planaria sign. Four fallen logs. You know what that symbol of? Planaria. They can spell. They're growing more and more intelligent. We need to be aware of Planaria. They're taking over. There's a sign right there. Look at that. Planaria sign scratching on the tree. They're warning us, keep out. Keep out of our area. So warnings, what's that noise? No, for real, what's that noise? Thank you, the Planaria. All right. If you're watching this, I barely escaped the Planaria. They took over. It was crazy. They were they flanked me from, from the top of the hill. Wait, that's not a flank. They ambushed me from the top of the hill. They were hiding and camouflaged in their in their ghillie suits. It was it was scary. <sighs> Blair Witch Project style. <sighs> What's that noise? Are you scared? I'm scared. Is that a clown? Is that a planaria? Look over my shoulder for me, please. I'm too scared. What is it? I hope this video makes it. And if it does, then obviously I lived. If not, and someone finds this, then please post it because I didn't live. Ah! All right, so all joking aside, uh, the first two materials we need is a needle and a water bottle, a needle that's just big enough to poke holes in the bottom. Some fish food, I use two types here, I'll show you the second one later. Uh, first thing you do is you use the needle to poke some small holes in the bottom of the water bottle, small enough to where the planaria can get in and it does not let baby shrimp get in. Um, Planaria can get into a very small space, you'd really be surprised. I sped out this process because it was boring and monotonous, I thought. You know what it looks like to poke holes in a bottle? Then you put the food in. I used algae wafers and tetragranules. Uh, don't put too much or else it will ruin your water quality because it will be in there for a while. Then you put the water bottle in the tank slowly so that it doesn't cause the food to come rushing out. Uh, once it's filled up, you put the top on, and it's then neutrally buoyant. Put it in the gravel, and wait. After a few hours, these are your results. You have some planaria that got through the holes and are attracted to the bait. You'll see them on the algae wafers here. Um, once again, make sure that the holes are small enough to where it keeps the baby shrimp out, but the planaria can still get in. You'll see them up the sides of the bottle here. Uh, pretty impressive results after just two hours. 
I was pretty happy. Then you take the water bottle out. Careful not to spill any water. A little bit better view with the paper towel behind it. Uh, I shook it up so that it got them all to the bottom so we can see them all in one condensed area. I sped it up because it was boring. And you'll notice the planaria at the bottom. That's, I think it's a pretty good number for the short period of time it was in there. The next thing you do, obviously, is you just pour the water out into a container, then dump it out outside. Make sure it does not go into a local waterway or stream or into your local water source because these are uh, harmful pests. And this is the end result. If you found this video informative or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, check out the links below, and stay tuned and stay fishy, people. Thank you for stopping by.